Hi, assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are in chapter 5, the states of matter. And now we're going to focus on the subtopic of 5.1 gas, part 2 of the video. So in this video, we're going to learn on how to perform calculation involving gases law and ideal gas equation. Also, we're going to determine the molar mass of a volatile liquid using the ideal gas equation. For the learning outcome of A, B and C, we have looked about that in the previous video, which is in part 1. So, in this video, let us start with part 2 of the video first. So, ideal gas equation. So, ideal gas equations came from the combination of the three gases law, which is the Boyce law, Charles law and Avogadro's law. So, according to Boyce law, the volume is directly proportional to 1 over pressure. Meanwhile, for the Charles law, it was stated that the volume is directly proportional to the temperature in the unit of Kelvin. Meanwhile, for the Avogadro's law, it was stated that the volume is directly proportional to the number of mole. So from here, you can see that we have written that in terms of the subject volume. So we can make a relationship in which volume is directly proportional to the number of mole with temperature over pressure. So these three relationships has been combined into one. At the same time, we can also bring the PV term on the P term on the V side here so that we can get PV directly proportional to Tn. And we can make an equation by converting the relationship sign into an equal sign, and then we need to add a gas term here, which is R, a gas constant. And that is why we're going to get the term of PV is equal to NR where R here refers to a gas constant in which it has two value, which is 8.314 Joule per Kelvin per meter, or you can use 0 0.08206 liter NTM per Kelvin per mole. And I will suggest you to use the red one because it is much more consistent to the unit that we are using. And we are not dealing much with Joules, and that is why we're going to use this value of R because we can cancel it out with our ATM, liter, mole, and Kelvin for these following parameters. Now we're going to look into example on how we can use the idle gas equation in order to solve problem. So for example, number one, what is the pressure in a 200 cm cube vessel? So this is our volume. If 12 gram of methane gas is heated to a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. So the mass here can be used in order to find the number of mole. Meanwhile, the temperature here needs to be converted into Kelvin. The volume here, because it is in cm cube, you can turn it into liter. So since this question using the idle gas equation, so we're going to use the PV is equal to nRT. So from the information in the question, we know that our volume is 200 cm cube and it is equal to 0 0.2 liter. Meanwhile, for our temperature, it is 40 degrees Celsius, and then we need to add up with 273.15, which we get 313.15 Kelvin. And for our number of mole here, we can obtain that from the methane gas. So number of mole is equal to mass divided by the molar mass. So the mass is 12 gram, and the molar mass is 12 for multiply by 1. So we get 16. So gram and gram are going to be cancelled out, and as a result, you're going to get 0 0.75 mole. So we have all the information that we need, and we need to find out the pressure. Okay, so pressure here. So uh, we can write our, we can substitute our value here. So our number of mole is 0 0.75. Our R, R or the gas constant is 0 0.08206 liter ATM per mole per Kelvin. And our temperature here is 313.15 Kelvin. And then our volume is 0.2 liter. So from here, you can see that mole and per mole can be cancelled out. Liter and liter can be cancelled out. And then per Kelvin and Kelvin can be cancelled out. So you're going to have a unit of ATM for the pressure here. So once you do the maths, you're going to get 96.47 ATM. Now we're going to look into example number two. So for example number two, a steel gas tank has a volume of 275 liters. So this is our V 
and it is filled with 0.45 kilogram of oxygen. So from here, you can use in order to find their number of mol. But be careful of their unit kilogram. So you need to multiply by 1000 first because kilogram is 10 to the power of 3. And then we need to calculate their pressure again. So we need to find the pressure of oxygen gas. If the temperature is, 90, is 29 degrees Celsius, so you need to convert that into Kelvin by adding 273.15. So as usual, we need to use the idle gas equation, which is PV is equal to nRT. And then the information that we got from the equation is the volume, which is 275 liter. And then our temperature, we need to convert that into Kelvin. And then for our number of mole is 485 gram. So from kilogram, you need to change it into gram first by multiplying by 1000. And then you divide by the molar mass of the oxygen gas, which is 16 times 2. And then you're going to get the number of mole of oxygen to be 15.156 mole. So from this value here, you can substitute that in, in the ideal gas equation, where R here refers to 0 0.08 to 0 0.06. Okay, so our number of mole here is 15.156 mole. Our R is 0 0.08 to 0 0.06 liter at the ampere mole per Kelvin. And then our temperature is 302.15 Kelvin. And then our volume is 275 liter. So again, per mole and mole can be cancelled out. Liter and liter can be cancelled out. Per Kelvin and Kelvin can be cancelled out. And we have the unit of ATM for our pressure, which is consistent. So once we do the maths here, we're going to get 1.37 ATM. Now we're going to look into how we can rearrange the ideal gas equation in order to find density as well as the molar mass. So from our original ideal gas equation, which is PV is equal to nRT, we can rearrange this equation by bringing the volume to the right-hand side, so it's going to become N over V, and our RT to the left-hand side, so it's going to become P over RT, as shown as here. And you know that the number of mole of the gas is equal to mass over molar mass. So mass of a molar mass can be substituted into this term here. So you can you can get mass is equal to volume over MR and it is equal to P over RP. Okay, and from here you know that your M over V here can equal to the density. So you can bring your MR to the right hand side here. So M over V is equal to PMR over RT. Okay, and from here, M over V, which is density, is equal to mass over volume, can be substituted or changed into this term here in order to produce our new equation where density is equal to PMR over RT. Okay, and P is our pressure as usual. MR is our molar mass, and then R is our gas constant, which is 0 0.08 to 6 liter at the M per mole per Kelvin. And then we have our temperature, which is in the unit of Kelvin. So we're going to use this equation in order to solve problem. So for example, number one, we need to calculate the density of ammonia in gram per liter, which is like this at a temperature at a pressure of 0 0.989 atm and a temperature of 328 kelvin so we need to find out the density so we're going to use the formula that we have arranged just now so we have our density is equal to pmr over rt so you know that our pressure here is 0 0.989 atm and then our molar mass of the Ammonia here is 14 plus 3 multiplied by 1. So you're going to get 17 gram per mole. And then our R here is the gas constant, which is 0 0.08 to 0 0.06 liter at the per mole per Kelvin. And then our temperature is already in the unit of Kelvin. So we can just plug in here. So ATM and ATM can be cancelled out. Per mole and per mole can be cancelled out. Per Kelvin and Kelvin can be cancelled out. And then what you're going to left is the unit of gram per liter. So you're going to be liter minus 1. 
which is consistent to what we are finding, which is the density. So you need to do the maths here. So when you plug it into the calculator, you're going to get 0 0.625 gram per liter. So this is as simple as that. Now we're going to look into example number two. So for example number two, a chemist has synthesized a greenish yellow compound of chlorine and oxygen and finds that its density is 7.71 gram per liter at 36 degrees Celsius and 2.88 atm. So this needs to be converted into Kelvin first. And we need to find the molar mass of the compound. Okay, so we are given the density, so we can use the idle gas equation that uses the density. So density is equal to PMR over RT, and this is the thing that we need to find out, the molar mass. So the pressure we have known as to be 2.88, our gas constant we have known, our temperature we need to convert it to Kelvin. So temperature is equal to 36 plus 273.15, which is 309.15 Kelvin. So we're going to plug in the value into their expression here. So our MR is the thing that we need to find out. So the density is 7.71 gram per liter. And then our gas constant is 0 0.08206 liter at the m per mole per kelvin and then our temperature here is 309.15 and then our pressure is in the unit of atm which is 2.88 so atm and atm can be cancelled out liter and per liter can be cancelled out per kelvin and kelvin can be cancelled out so we're going to left the unit of gram and in the unit of per mole which is consistent with the unit of the molar mass so once we do the maths here, we're going to get to be 67.91 gram per mole. Okay, so I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!